Good morning, everybody. Welcome to today's Reading the Red. This Thursday morning. Is it going to be a cold one? Um, let's see what happens. So, Matthew chapter 17. We begin a new chapter. And um, this is titled The Transfiguration. And it's when Jesus, uh, with three of his disciples, Peter, James and John, went up to the mountain and Jesus was transfigured. And what that means is he had a, a kind of an epiphany, uh, an experience uh, of God, the four of them, up there on that mountain. And Jesus was transfigured in that his body became uh, like he was heavenly. And he began to be filled with this glorious sense of glory around him, this light. Um, and he just his clothes would look like bright, shiny, like, like he was God. And in fact... We know he is God. And in this experience, this transfiguration experience, um, God speaks a word to them and says to them uh, about Jesus, this is my beloved son in whom I'm well pleased. And there's this sense of um, blessing and uh, affirmation regarding uh, who Jesus is. And they're, they're encountering things that are heavenly and uh, incredible. Uh, not the everyday kind of put your milk out and wash your uh, you wash your dinner plates up. This is like, what's going on here? And the four of them are just overwhelmed with a sense of what's going on. And then Jesus says these words right down there in red in verse 7. Uh, and he says, and Jesus came to them. So while he's having this experience, Jesus came to them and touched them and said, to them, get up and do not be afraid. Get up and do not be afraid. Now, there's this sense of they're just about to have, they're just having this the most incredible experience of their life. This has never happened uh, to them ever before. And they're just in this kind of stupor of amazement. And Jesus, and they're, they're on, the, on the floor, they're, they're on their knees, they're, they're just in adoration. And Jesus says, comes, touch them, says to them, get up, do not be afraid. And you think, what, why would you say that, Jesus? Why would you say not, don't, not to be afraid when this incredible thing is going on? You know, there are many Christians that uh, just chase around after experiences. And uh, they live their life from experience to experience. And they don't really want to walk the walk or talk the talk. They just want these experiences. But And um, it's a strange thing to just go through life wanting experiences. And yet, in one sense, the whole world is doing that, looking for another experience. God is more than just an experience. God is a person that wants to come and invade every aspect of your life. God never wants us to be afraid. He doesn't want us to be afraid. Fear is an enemy of God. And so even though Jesus was understanding in regards to the fact that his three friends, the disciples, were encountering something they'd never encountered before, he still doesn't want them to be afraid. And if you're ever in a situation where you're finding yourself afraid, then you need to just remind yourself, Jesus doesn't want me afraid. He wants me to be an overcomer. And what does he say to the disciples? He says he touched them. So he embraced the reality of who they were and he reassured them. And he said, it's OK. He touched them. He said to them, get up. So they were on their knees and he said to them, get up. He doesn't want us down on their knees. When we're down on our knees, we're weak and we're broken. Oh, there's a place for being on your knees. But he wants them active. He wants them up. He wants them proactive. Touch them. Get up. It's sure. Reassurance. Get up. He, off your knees and do not be afraid. And he commands that. Do not be afraid. He said to Joshua in Joshua chapter one, about 10 times in the chapter, do not be afraid. God doesn't want us afraid. So avoid fear because it's your enemy and trust in the Lord with all your heart. Have a great day. Be blessed. And I'll see you tomorrow.